I've been putting it off, but here it is. It's time to talk about Ska. My first question is, why, why do I do this to myself? Why am I doing this? What's wrong with me? Have I become a total gimp? Am I a masochist that's just begging to be flogged? Is that what my life has become? And the answer is yes, because here in this video, I'm going to challenge myself to like Ska. Now, this is sort of picking up, again, I gotta credit Mike the Snare for the idea for this video. He made one called Learning to Like Metal a while ago, which I shamelessly ripped off with my video called Learning to Like Classic Metal. And I figured I would rip him off again with this one, Learning to Like Ska. Uh, so shout out to him. It is no secret that uh, I have criticized and made fun of Ska uh, many times before, and I will continue to criticize and make fun of Ska in the future. But in all seriousness, uh, I thought it would be time to give it another chance. Now, I first heard Ska probably in 1992, I think. Probably the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones or Operation Ivy, one of those two were like the first. Those are Ska punk bands, not like, you know, real Ska or whatever, because I'm aware everyone's already typing in the comments, well, actually, Ska from the 50s and Desmond Decker and blah, blah, blah. I'm aware of all that. I'm aware. I heard all this stuff many, 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 many years ago. But let's listen with fresh ears, shall we? Let's see if maybe there's something I missed. Maybe let's just give it another chance because, you know, I want you guys to like me. And I know that you guys like me the most when I like the same things that you guys like. So in this video, I'm going to try to convince myself to like Ska so that you guys will like me. So I asked on Twitter. I was not expecting this, but I got like... Over a hundred replies here with way more songs that I could possibly listen to on this stream. So I just went through and I looked at a few, some songs that I knew, some songs that I didn't know. Maybe you guys can uh, suggest some perhaps, but look how many replies I got to this. You guys love Ska. Um, and I sort of knew that. I mean, look at this. I sort of knew that, but I didn't know you guys like Ska this much. I've been scrolling for like a minute and it's still going. It's still going, but let's check it out. Sundays are for football, friends, food, and DraftKings Sportsbook. That's right, I am partnering up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, to share an incredible offer with all of you. All new customers sign up using the promo code FINN, F-I-N-N, that is my name, bet $5 on any pregame money line wager, and receive an additional $200 in free bets if your bet cashes. You heard right, new customers who bet at least $5 on any football team to win this weekend will get an additional $200 in free bets if your bet hits. Plus, with same game parlays, you can combine multiple bets from the same game to give yourself a shot at even bigger winnings all season long. And for those of you who live in a state where sports betting is not yet available, don't worry. There's also DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they've been innovating on even more ways to win some cash this football season. And if football isn't your thing, which would be crazy because NFL football is the best sport on the planet, that's a fact. But don't forget the basketball season also kicks off this week, and DraftKings DraftKings has tons of ways for you to get in on the action over there as well. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now at the link in the description of this video. And new customers use the promo code FINN, F-I-N-N, and receive $200 in free bets if your bet hits after placing a $5 pregame football wager. That's promo code FINN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. This guy here, he wrote a book, In Defense of Ska Book on Clash Books and the In Defense of Ska podcast. So I figured when it comes to someone who is a defender of Ska, why not start with the actual official defender of Ska? And we'll check out some of the songs that he recommended. Fishbone is a band that I have not listened to in a long time. I saw them in... Uh, 91 or something like that on Lollapalooza. I can't say that I've listened to their music a lot since then, but I did see them back then and it was pretty fun. This is Unyielding Condition by Fishbone. Let's check it out. I mean, it sounds like ska. Vocal's a little rough. Very 90s fit here with the... Uh, the yellow stripy pants and the, the purple, like round John Lennon kind of sunglasses looks right out of the uh, JC Penny catalog around the time that grunge was blown up and uh, everybody was trying to sell you zany alternative clothes. Nobody feels for me. We've all been by our so 
this is more along the lines of uh, quote unquote real ska. You know what a lot of people call ska, meaning Operation Ivy, Real Big Fish, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, stuff like that. Is that's not really ska ska. That's like ska punk. This is much more in line with quote unquote real ska, meaning I understand this is not two tone ska, but it's more along the lines of that than ska punk. These guys aren't even showing their feet. What the hell? How are you gonna get up here, run around with your shirt off, wearing shorts, and don't even have the decency to show me your feet? I feel like this song hasn't started. Uh, this is a, a pleasant song. You know, I wouldn't be upset if this came on by any means. But so far, you know, I feel like I'm kind of waiting for it to start. It's a vibe song. You got the organ there. It's a vibe song. This is hot dog music. That's true. Like, would I choose to listen to this? Probably not. Uh, but if it was August and I went to the county fair and uh, this band was playing while I was in line to get a delicious hot dog, I'd be like, you know, today's a good day. I've got this incredible hot dog loaded up with... I Look, I'll be honest. I'm a sicko. I like ketchup mustard, relish, and onions on my hot dogs. I know this upsets a lot of the hot dog hipsters who think that you should only have like mustard or whatever on them. I like it all. I like it all. Load it up. That's right. I'll even put some chili on there too. So would I listen to this while waiting in line for a delicious hot dog? I would, but I don't know if I would say this is the best thing in the world. Can we at least give credit for allowing band nerds to participate in rock music? Credit, more like blame. The last thing we need is more fucking nerds and rock music. Now that I think about it, Ska may be indirectly responsible for the death of rock by making it at least 70% nerdier. They just open the floodgates to a whole bunch of nerds. Next one that he suggested was uh, Hepcat. I remember this band. They're like a traditional Ska band, right? I remember hearing them a long time ago on, uh, were they on Moon Ska? Moon Ska was like the big Ska label in the 90s. I like that snare sound. Is this the same song? Um, that's kind of what I thought. Kind of sounds the same. It's not a bad song, though. Um, I like, uh, they all look like waiters, uh, and I'm okay with that. I'd be like, uh, yeah, could we have some more bread? Um, but just, just the brown bread, um, you don't need to bring us the sourdough. If we could just have another basket of the brown bread, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Just th this guy, I'm going to send this guy home. Uh, no facial hair allowed. Uh, it's in the employee handbook. You signed it. So I'm going to send you home, uh, finish out your shift, but I need you to shave before you come in tomorrow. What do you guys think of this? I'm, I'm whelmed. I mean, I don't hate this by any means. It's pleasant, but, uh, you know, there's nothing here that really grabs me. I'm not hearing a hook. It just kind of feels like, uh, you know, it feels like decent background music, but there's nothing here that's really grabbing me. What do you guys think? <laughs> See, look, I can play a trumpet solo too. <laughs> what do you guys think of my trumpet solo? It's all right, you're all yeah, all right. I don't hate it. Let's see what else he has for us. Cat bite, excuse me, miss. We'll give him one more try here. Feel like both of those songs were good, but there's nothing here that made me go, holy shit, I love this. Okay, this is new. From 2021. Okay, a little bit more punk. This is grabbing me a little bit more. Yeah, why does she cover her feet? That's my question. She's got multicolored hair and bangs and a septum piercing. Sorry, miss. Those are three strikes. You're out. But that doesn't mean your band is bad. This is catchy. It's a good chorus. Exactly. The Rickenbacker guitar and bass. That's a problem. I know a lot of people have spoken to Brit personally. She's really cool. I'm going to assume that the singer is named Brit. 
and I'm sure she's a wonderful person. I've heard so many bands like this over the years that I wouldn't say this stands out for me in any way, but I, I like it, you know, it's enjoyable. She's got a good voice. All right, good one. It's, uh, that's my, of the three songs we've listened to so far, I like that one the best. Maybe that means I'm a poser and I like ska punk better. I don't know. But that's uh, that's my reaction. Another band that lots of people have recommended to me over the years, which I've heard before, and uh, I gotta be honest, it didn't really grab me too much. This is a song that several people suggested to me on Twitter. This is called We Will Fall Together by Streetlight Manifesto. Let's give this another shot and uh, see what we think. Yeah, this, this band's fans are brutal. Some of the most inseparable nerds, I agree. It's cool animation. Okay, so far this sounds like kind of the ska punk that I've heard many times before. I like the snare. Oh, this is the same band as Catch-22? Okay. It's been a minute and the song hasn't really started yet. I was you a guy, obsessed with the afterlife. Okay, this is a little bit rough. I'm getting a combination of like band nerd and theater kid from this one. And that's uh, that's a tough combination. Someone please tell me this band, their stands are incredibly passionate. This is one of these bands where I feel like people would die for these guys. Um, and I'm not sure why. AL Storm, but somehow worse. <laughs> I don't get it. I'll be honest. I, I like the video a bit. It's really good artwork and great animation. Um, I don't think this is terrible, uh, but I guess I'm not really, um, I'm not really sure what is so great about this. Let's put it that way. I just, I've heard so many bands like this that this doesn't sound noticeably different to me from all the other Scott Punk bands I've heard. It's a good bassist. I will say this, uh, ska bassists are excellent, and drummers, but uh, especially bassists. They've got a lot of very good bassists in these bands. Yeah, okay, well, I think I'm gonna say that, at least based on this song, Streetlight Manifesto is, uh, it's not for me. I'm not, I'm not hearing it. They're a live band, people like them because of the show. All right, well, that might be true. If you like it, that's what's important. I'm gonna say it's not for me. What else do we have here? Oh, Folly. That's another band that people recommended to me. I remember this band vaguely from back in the day, but I, I have not listened to them in a very long time. Let's check it out. I remember them being like ska hardcore. And so far, this sounds like hardcore, so. I'm guessing they're going to break into Ska. And I say break into Ska because, you know, like in the Disney movies, they're like, um, have you heard the news? Have you heard the news? Have you heard the news? You know, they break into song and then all of a sudden the cartoon parrot bursts out of the kid's bedroom wearing sunglasses and he starts singing a song about the news. I feel like that's what Ska does, too. Like, it's a normal song and then all of a sudden, like, something happens and they break into Ska. Right, right. Okay, this sounds like bad hardcore so far. It sounds like bad Shai Halud or something. Okay, here comes the ska. Here it is. Is this what you're supposed to do? See? I could be in a ska band. Do the ska. This is bad. This sounds like a local band. Where's the ska? Here we go. All right. I'm going to say that is not good. Uh, sorry, friends. But I did get some other suggestions. For example, the man, Metal Jesus Rocks, also made a suggestion here of a band that I do like. Save Ferris. Save Ferris is a great band. Very catchy. I will say this. Um, the best ska sort of ska punk bands of the 90s, for example, Save Ferris and No Doubt in particular, uh, wrote some fucking great songs. Uh, the Dancehall Crashers were cool too. Save Ferris is a great band. Is it corny as hell? Absolutely. But it's great. I can appreciate this. 
she has that ska voice like same as the girls in dance hall crashers i feel like every girl in a ska band back then had that same sort of voice i don't really know how to how to characterize it but they all had that voice great song super catchy also a fun piece of trivia the uh drummer of save ferris evan was in this band mind rot very random he quit mind rot to join save ferris yes it's the millennial lady mimicking a 50s diner server <laughs> impression so good suggestion i think uh save ferris is an awesome band good suggestion metal jesus i'm a fan they're a great band i also got some suggestions from this girl who was uh my girlfriend in 10th and 11th grade my high school girlfriend who apparently she likes ska a lot and uh she made a lot of suggestions i know she liked ska in high school a band that several other people brought up voodoo glow skulls definitely ska punk um but i think this song is really good too got the little crazy train reference there voodoo glow skulls from riverside right Ripperside, probably the most metal ska band, ska punk band. I thought this album was great. I used to like it a lot. This band is like objectively bad, but I like them anyway. Pretty unique sound. I like Voodoo Glow Skulls, good band. I would kind of hesitate to call them ska though, because they're really more like metallic punk with horns which I, to me is not real ska personally like i don't really think it's real ska but um i do think it's pretty good another artist of course that we have to talk about um is uh desmond decker um what's the song where it's like uh is it monkey ska oh it's not desmond decker it's Derek harriet okay i remember i liked this song a lot This is a good one. This is this is like old school, real ska from like the 50s or the 60s. I like it. How about uh, Dance Hall Crashers' Othello? I don't think I know this Dance Hall Crashers song. I know some of their other songs. Again, this would be more like ska punk than like, you know, real ska. The same kind of voice as Save Ferris, right? That 50s diner kind of voice. It's really what it is. I like Dance Hall Crashers. They were good. Apple Shampoo is about their singer. Oh, I didn't know that. If you know the line in Josie, my girlfriend, she likes UL and DHC. UL is Unwritten Law and DHC is Dance Hall Crashers because uh, apparently they were Dance Hall Crashers fans. Uh, so yeah, I like Dance Hall Crashers. Good band. So shout out to Kathleen uh, for these suggestions. Another person who made a suggestion is Fleur Shomo, AKA Caleb Shomo's wife. She mentioned Mad Caddies, which is another band, which I remember hearing back in the day, but I can't say that I've listened to in a very, very long time. So this is a live song, live version. I remember there, them being kind of, you know, on the better end of nineties ska punk. Oh, look at all those chads. These 12 year olds having the time of their lives. They're gonna go home and uh, play some N64, chug uh, Capri Sun, have some goldfish crackers. It's pretty good. With stuff like this, I just wonder, does it need the horns? You know what I mean? This sounds a lot like Less Than Jake to me. And I just wonder, this sounds like a good song to me, what if we just took out the horns? Are they really adding much? It's a good song. I like this. But I think, uh, you know, if I'm being honest, to me, horns just usually don't add anything. They just make it more corny to me most of the time, you know? So I, I would say I do like this song, but I think I would like it better without the uh without the horns i think but still shout out to fleur for uh 
for the suggestion. I know they just moved to LA, so hopefully the move is treating you guys well. I saw your new house. It looks awesome. Choking Victim is a band that a lot of people mentioned as well. I don't know what their big song is, but I know that this band has some very um, objectionable fans. Let's put it that way. Let's listen to this. This is apparently their big song. This has a million views. So let's listen to this. Uh, choking Victim, you know, this guy here, which I assume is someone in the band, really what I think of with Choking Victim is these kind of people, the, you know, uh, very dysfunctional train hopper kind of people. 500 Channels is their hit song. Okay, let's listen to that. The intersection of ska and like crust punk and folk punk, which is a really um, objectionable <laughs> combination. People think this is good? Yes, would you please fucking shower core? People think this is good? This sounds like, uh, I mean, this sounds like a local band for sure. Like, not a very good local band either. Yeah, I would, uh, I would pass on this for sure. I'm not sure why, uh, let's put it this way. I have genuine questions. I know this band has a lot of very passionate fans. And my question is, why? What do you see in this? I'm genuinely curious, genuinely, sincerely curious. And look, I listen to a lot of, I listen to fucking porno grind. I listen to meat shits and fucking you know, cock and ball torture. So by no means am I the one to get up on my high horse about my musical taste, but I just, I legitimately don't understand how anybody could think that this was even good. All right, well, we'll listen to a couple more. I'll say another band that many people mentioned to me was The Interrupters. And this is their big song, I think. I don't know if I've heard this one. But I, The Interrupters are a fucking good band. These are great songs. She has a great voice. Interrupters are fantastic. Great voice. Interrupters, the only concert where I saw normies, old school punks, and small children all in the same crowd. I can believe that. Not very original, but that's okay. Um, originality has no inherent value. It's not important to be original. Interrupters are a great band. I have nothing but good things to say about them. Okay, so here's a good way to put it. I asked, what are some songs I should check out to turn me into a ska fan? And this is a good reply. Depends if you want to be the ska white guy with dreads or the ska white guy who mall grabs the skateboard and doesn't ride it. Scottalite's song, Dynamite for number one. Suicide Machine's New Girl for number two. Let's check out Suicide Machine's New Girl. I have not listened to them in a very long time. I saw Suicide Machines in 96 or 97, back when they were still called Jack Kevorkian and the Suicide Machines. I saw them like in Detroit or something like that. And they're basically like a local band. Um, I've not really listened to them since then. Uh, let's check this out. I believe this is a fan-made video by some, uh, some virgins in college who were too busy making ska videos instead of trying to get laid. My friends, you squandered your college years. You could have been out there touching titties, but you pissed them away making fan-made ska videos. I am shocked. I'm disappointed. You will regret this. This is my suicide machine, so I know this song. Yeah, Tony Hawk first level, yeah. Oh, look at this. God damn it. Don't waste your youth on this playing fucking ska covers in the front yard of your mom's house uh, outside in Morris Plains, New Jersey. Go out there and touch a tit, my friends. You'll thank me for it. You'll thank me. This is a pretty catchy song, though. As far as this kind of stuff goes, I mean, I think ska punk in general is kind of a Kind of a corny genre. I don't think that's a, a stretch. As far as that stuff goes, I think this is pretty good. Chevy Cavalier Corps, that's right. You want to get all the babes, you just get yourself a Chevy Cavalier, a 96 Chevy Cavalier. You're going to be fighting them off. All right, so we've run out of time. But uh, like I said, I heard Ska many, many, many years ago, you know, a good 30 years ago, but I haven't really given it a listen since then, in all honesty. And uh, I got to say, 
Uh, based on this so far, you know, uh, I, I don't hate Ska. I, I wouldn't say that I like it any more than I did before, but I don't hate it. I think I actually prefer the real Ska to the Ska Punk because Ska Punk is kind of like bad punk plus bad Ska. And it doesn't add up to something that is better than either one of those. I would rather just listen to real Ska. You know what I mean? Like Monkey Ska rather listen to Hepcat or the Slackers or Desmond Decker or something like that than I would rather listen to some white guys from Orange County who heard Desmond Decker and then got their friend to come play horns in their punk band. That is my opinion. With that being said, it was a fun trip down memory lane listening to some of those old ska bands I may have forgotten that fell through the cracks. Join us for the next installment where maybe I will try to like Faith No More or Deftones or Tool or something like that. And thank you very much to everyone who uh, sent me a submission for tonight's video. Monkey Sky is a good one, I agree.